share With a dash of this and a pinch of that Mixed all up with care The best company and conversation Recipes and new creations We're cooking up something good here at home We are cooking up something good here at home Hello family and welcome to our indoor Memorial Day picnic. Yes, I said indoor. You know why? Every time I plan a picnic for outside on Memorial Day, it's either 40 degrees or there is a rainstorm that you can't even hold the plates on the table. So it's too unpredictable. So what we're doing today is doing a wonderful picnic that we're going to cook indoors. And then if it should happen to be really nice outside, take the food outside and eat it. But you don't have to worry about Oh, I can't get the grill going because it's raining or whatever. We're cooking everything on the inside. And it's going to be, it's going to be good. I think you're going to like the menu. You know, Memorial Day is a very special day because it is to commemorate those that have given their lives, soldiers who have given it all, so that this country can enjoy the freedoms that we do. And, you know, I know that of recent we've really been in a struggle as a country, as a, as a people, and we're all feeling it with financial situations and the government and this and that and you know it's just it's you say how much more can we take I'm going to tell you something there's no place else in the whole wide world that I'd want to live except right here in the good old USA and so I want us to stop and, and have a remembrance just sometime throughout the day and teach your children why we're celebrating Memorial Day it's not just picnic time it's a time of memory for those maybe you have a dad or a grandfather an uncle or a brother or those that have given their lives recently of what's going on in Afghanistan and in those places just stop and and remember to be thankful that you live in America and thankful God for those that were willing to go and to fight so that we could have freedom okay happy Memorial Day right after the hint we're getting started and we're doing ribs. Oh, yeah, and a whole bunch more. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Here's today's at-home hint. If a recipe calls for softened butter and yours is cold, just place a stick of butter in the microwave and heat for five seconds. It should be soft enough to use successfully. If you've got a helpful hint, we want to hear from you. Send your hint to at-home hints, Cornerstone Television, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. Well, what would a cookout be without ribs? And we've got ribs. I mean, they're cooking now. They've been cooking since 6 o'clock this morning because the longer they cook, the more tender they get. And what you want to do is ask your butcher for country-style spare ribs. That's the rib with a whole lot of meat in between. And CW Meats, if you're local, CW Meats up there in Manor, they've got the most incredible meat. That's where I buy it. So these have been cooking since early this morning. And I want you to see what they look like. I've cut the ribs in half. Look at this. All that wonderful succulent meat. And they'll cut them to however you want them. And you put them in your crock pot. But first, before you do that, you brown them in the oven for about 15 minutes on each side to get them nice and brown because you want that brown flavor. Then you're going to make a, a marinade, which I've put on these, with ketchup, some um, orange marmalade right here, soy sauce. Use the low-sodium soy sauce. That's important. And a couple of cloves of garlic. And you get this. See how thick this is? You paint that on every rib. You put that in your crock pot on low for eight to 10 hours or on high for uh, six to eight hours. And when you have all of that done, you have left, then you pour some over the top. Just like I'm gonna do now, because that makes this. And I'm telling you, the smell is unbelievable. Let them go, that's the best way to do it. I like it because you make them, you put them, put it together, you're done until it's time to eat, okay? Okay, now Patty, what are you doing over here, Patty? I am making sweet and sour beans. Ooh, okay. What do you got in there? Okay, right now I first cook bacon. So I'm using a leftover bacon. How much bacon? A pound. A, pound a whole of bacon, pound. Crumpled it all up and saved a couple tablespoons. 
of the grease. The grease, yeah, because that and flavors. Then, mm -hmm. Now, what's in there? Onions. Finely, okay. finely chopped onions. And you're just brown them, them off a brown little bit? Brown them off a little bit. And then you add your vinegar, mm -hmm. half a cup, and a teaspoon of garlic salt, and a half teaspoon of dry mustard. Okay. And then you let it simmer okay, for about 20 minutes. Okay, now what minutes. kind of beans do you have here? I have cannelloni beans. Cannellini beans, okay. And I have baked beans. Two baked beans. And then we also have some great northern beans. Or and you brown can use sugar. butter beans. Yeah, brown sugar. And what's this one? Um, chili beans. Chili beans, okay. So then you put that all together, yep. and then what do you do? Once it's all put together, then you put it in the casserole and you bake it at 350 for about 45, 45 minutes. Until it gets hot and bubbly because mm -hmm. basically everything going in there is already cooked. Right. And that, that's going to add such flavor. Right. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Does the bacon go in there when you mix up the beans with it? Oh, yes. Okay, everything goes in. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's doing that. I am going to start to make our dessert. This you're going to want to do earlier in the day, okay? We've made the variations of this at different times, but... I don't think we ever made one like this. First of all, you're gonna take a can of Hershey syrup. That would be that 16 ounce can, the brown can. You put that in a bowl, you put three fourths of a cup of peanut butter with it. And you put that in the microwave. You only cook it about two minutes. You don't want it to bubble and boil. And then you let it cool to room temperature. This is, this and a Ritz cracker could send me right over the edge. I want you to know that. But, 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 okay, you have that set up. This has to come to room temperature. You have some peanuts, and then you have ice cream sandwiches. What could be wrong with this? Everybody loves an ice cream sandwich. Okay, we're going to line the bottom of our 13 by 9 dish. You can make this earlier in the day or even the day before. And you just want to put these in. It takes about 19 of these sandwiches because you're going to make two layers. Okay? And you just go like this, get them all lined up. I don't know if I have to cut one of them or not. We'll soon learn. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have one more to go. Yeah, I might need one of those yeah, little knife, knives, yeah. yeah. So, just cut them like that. And then you're gonna put one here. I'm just gonna put one there. Now, you have a Cool Whip. This is just assembling, this is not hard. And you're gonna take some Cool Whip and pour, put that all over. This dessert keeps getting better and better. I'm telling you. Mm. And this goes back into the freezer once you made it. That's why I said you can make it early in the day because why not? Because anything you can do when you're having a picnic, anything you can do to make it easier when it's time to serve or time for everybody to come, you want to do it. Get that work done and get it out of the way so you don't have to worry with it. Because you want to spend time with your friends and your family and your guests and not be tied in the kitchen doing everything. Okay, so we've got the Cool Whip on there. Now, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gives me great joy to do this. That's peanut butter. Somebody's gasping in the studio. I don't know who it was, but mm. I understand. I yeah. truly understand. Because, oh. Yeah, peanut I mean, butter and chocolate. What mm. could be better? Mm -mm. It doesn't matter if you get that all mixed up with that Cool Whip. It doesn't matter at all. Look at that beautiful marble. That's How are we doing over there? Good. I'm letting this simmer up. Okay. Just another little spoonful, like that. Now, you have to almost use restraint. <laughs> you do, because I'm telling you, if the Ritz were here, I would not be able to. Then we're just gonna sprinkle with some peanuts. These are dry roasted peanuts, but you could, whatever kind you have, you could do. As much, much or as few as you want. If you don't want them, don't put them on. And then, Back to the ice cream sandwiches. I know I think I better go the same way that I started, huh? Yeah. It's easier when you come to cut it. Just thought about that. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think you could probably go ahead and pat Start it. Start putting the beans yeah. in there. Mix it together. Okay. 
Lori, maybe you could get me a couple more ice cream sandwiches. Since you have some extras, I saw we had a little hole there. I think I'd like to have that completely covered. No sense of wasting them because they come in the box. We might as well use them all. Watch them, about hot mm -hmm. and by you. Oh, that smells outrageous, outrageous, outrageous. Probably one more, Lori. Wow. I love the way those uh, onions look. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, thank you. Then we're going to put, there we go. Should I move that over and put another little piece in this corner. You want it covered, covered well. Then we do the Cool Whip again, all over the top. And while she's mixing those up and I'm finishing this, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I'll show you what we did, okay? Stay with us. Well, continuing with our indoor Memorial Day picnic, we've added Paul to the mix because he's going to make his infamous iced tea. And I'm telling you, it is so good. You're going to watch how he does that. It's good. Good. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's delicious. It's refreshing. And Patty, she's going to do a spin. I saw this and I thought, you know what? I know we batter all kind of vegetables. One of my favorite things is to go to county fairs or country fairs or any kind of a fair where they have battered vegetables, you know, with a, like they deep fry them. So we're going to do corn on the cob. And mm -hmm. you're going to make a batter right. out of what? Cornmeal? Corn meal, three quarter cup cornmeal, half cup of Parmesan cheese, third cup of flour, a couple tablespoons of oil, three quarter cup milk, and an egg some and garlic some garlic salt. salt. Okay. And then you mix up your batter, you dip it, and then you roll it in cornflakes. And then you drop it and in hot oil at about 375, 375 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you only cook it two or three minutes, but you want to make sure you have some paper towels on a plate. Right to drain them, okay? And you need to serve it immediately or as soon after as you can. We might need to put that lower oven mm -hmm. on 200 to hold them. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna get started with that. And I'm gonna make an Italian pasta salad, which has all of these wonderful vegetables and everything that's in it. This is gonna round out our, our buffet. And I think you're gonna like it. Okay, honey, you're gonna get started. First of all, this, if you don't have one of these, you have to get an iced tea maker. They're like, what, less than $20, right? $19.99. Yeah, something like that. That's less. That's less than $20, That's <laughs> like a whole penny. OK, show us how to do it, hon. OK. Got to put water in first. And it tells you on here how much water, because it's, it's got a line. So he's pouring the water in. OK. Okay. That's really then I think I. OK. And, and what's nice about this, it tells you on your pitcher where the line is to put the ice, where to put the water, where to put the ice. And it's just ice cubes or chipped ice, whatever you have. And you want to make sure that you really... Oops. I that think the other way was better. Yeah. Good. <laughs> it's all right. And there's the line, because you want to make sure... That's the nice thing about iced tea. This cools it down immediately. Once it's made, it's cold. And it's great. Now, he puts that top on because in this top, this is where you're going to brew the tea, right? That's correct. And That's what are what we using here, honey? I use, uh, I like to use uh, family-sized tea bags. They're the bigger ones. If, you're, if they use the little ones, they need about five of them. Okay. I take these tags off. And what, do you only use two of those? Yeah, that's two. all I need. Okay. So he puts that in. In there. You put the top very on. Very simple, very simple. Okay, put the top on. Now, you see there's a spout here. On this side, you line that up with this part right here. You're going to line that up. I can't see, honey. You want to line that up for Let me? Let me line it up here. There, there we go. go. Good deal. And then you press the button. And that brings the water up to a boil. And it comes out, drains out, it goes in here, brews the tea. And then the tea starts to drip out on the ice time it gets to the bottom, it's iced tea. But that's not the only thing he does. There's more to it, but we gotta wait for that to brew, right? Absolutely. Couple minutes. Show them our decanter. We got that. I think that's really neat. 
This is for our buffet. And it's, look how neat this is. We're gonna put our iced tea in that. It's got a little spigot on the front. That's gonna hold like two, probably two, um, two or three batches of this. So we're gonna keep making iced tea. Okay, she's doing the corn, he's doing the tea. I'm doing the Italian pasta salad. In this big, what I call it a vat, we have a cup of, of broccoli and a cup of um, cauliflower. And we just cut it and we steamed it for just a few minutes till it's tender, not mushy, but tender. And we cut them in small pieces, bite-sized pieces, okay? Then whenever we took it out and while it was still warm, we added some butter, a tablespoon of butter, just to flavor that up a little bit in some salt. And then this comes to room temperature. You don't want it hot, okay? Now, here's what we're adding. One pound of seashells that have been cooked. Oh, okay, <laughs> everything's flying today, ma'am. Well, they're cooked and they've been well drained. You don't want them mushy either. So what you wanna do is just make sure that they drain well and that they're not super, super um, soft because then they don't taste good. And you want to start to mix as you're adding stuff. Just start to mix it. Okay? Now, we're going to add romaine lettuce. You say, Arlene, romaine lettuce in, in pasta. Yeah, why not? I think we need a bigger vat than this. This is making a lot. I'm telling you, this is making a whole lot. This is just um, four cups. Is it four cups? Yeah, there's four cups. Four cups of the romaine, yeah. This, got this a needs hot. to be bite-sized bits. You don't want these to be big because that's not going to work real well. So we're going to make sure we make this smaller. You want to cut that white hard part out of that. I don't know if that's bigger or not, Laura. You think it is? I'm not sure. We might use that to serve it in. We might have to do that. She's getting me another bowl. She's trying to help me with this, but I, I don't know. This is pretty full. How are we doing over there? Are we putting any in yet? No, if it got too hot. It got too hot. That's, That's a little over 400. Can I still put it in? Yeah, go ahead. Let's see what happens. If it gets too dark, we'll just uh, just be ready that you're going to take it out okay. sooner. Okay. Yeah, I turned the down a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Now I'm adding some chopped cucumbers. You don't want to crowd the pan when you're cooking those corn either. You just want to put... A like couple in there at a time, because then they don't, they don't cook evenly. Shredded carrot goes here. Oh, yeah. How about some cheese? Right. Nothing like some good old that is one cheddar big cheese. Salad. Look at the color. Oh, my goodness. Is this awesome or what? Be perfect. Beautiful. And then, what's easier than this? You get a bottle of your favorite, 16-ounce bottle of your favorite Italian dressing. Pour over it all, put it in the refrigerator, and let it chill down until everything's nice and cold. I'm telling you, this is excellent. Look at that iced tea coming through. Now, tell us what you do after this is done. Once this is done, and he takes this off, all the tea is in the bottom, then what do you add? Then I, I take Crystal Light. A lemon aid Crystal Light, and he puts that in the iced tea, then so I you don't need lemon. I'm sorry. Okay. And then I fill the pitcher up with the water, and then I mix it. Mix and then it you together. have your lemon already in the your iced tea. And then if it's it's just sweet enough, because there's remember there's sugar in that, not sugar, but sweet and low or whatever they used to sweeten it. And but if you like a little sweeter, you can put one more Splenda or whatever. That's the best iced tea. I'm telling you, easy to do stuff you have in the house all the time. I'm mixing this up. Patty's working on the corn, and we come back. It's Party time with our indoor Memorial Day picnic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Oh, how I wish you were here to join Paul and me and all the others for our indoor Memorial Day picnic. Look at this table. I'm telling you, who would not want to be participating? Let's start down here with our ribs. There's our country ribs. They, it's Chinese style. They are falling apart. They are so good. And in just cook them in that good old crock pot. That's the best. And then we have our Italian pasta. This makes a lot. You can half the recipe. But I'm telling you, look at that. That Everything you want is right there. So delicious, so fragrant. Then our beans. This is our beans. Sweet and sour beans. I'm telling you. 
you're going to want to look at that. Bacon, all this different, oh, the smells in here are incredible. Then our battered corn. Remember we talked about the battered corn? There it is. You keep that nice and hot in an oven, and that cooks it through really, really well. Next we have, look at that. That's the dessert. Who wouldn't want that? I mean, yum. This has to freeze for an hour after you make it at least, so it sets up nice and firm. And Paul, there's your iced tea. He's going to show us. Yes. He's doing tea there. We added some grilled hot dogs because maybe there's kids that wouldn't like the... The, um, the ribs, or maybe there's a lot of adults that would really like just a good old hot dog. We grilled those. Cut your dogs with a little slit, real tiny slits, and then put them in and let them cook fast. They get grilled so beautifully and grill the bun. The buns, that makes all the difference. We've added all our condiments. And I'll tell you what, all you need now is you being here with us. We wish you could be, but maybe some other time, okay? So be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you here at home. Happy Memorial Day. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.